Hey everyone, Nefagil Tech here, and today I would like to show you how you can install the latest release of Atmosphere version 1.5.0 on your Nintendo Switch running firmware version 16 or below. So just to show you, I have a completely stock Nintendo Switch right here. So it's running the latest version of the official Nintendo Switch firmware. And just to confirm, I will go to settings, scroll down to system, and here you can see that my current system version is version 16.0. So I have the latest release of the firmware installed, as I said, and Atmosphere version 1.5.0 has just dropped, which includes support for firmware version 16. So if you accidentally updated your Switch to the latest release, or in case you're just wondering, well, I just got myself a new Switch, can I try to install Atmosphere so I custom firmware on it? This is a video for you. But before I show you how you can actually install Atmosphere, you need to make sure that you have a first generation Nintendo Switch which can be self-modded. So you need to have a Nintendo Switch prior to, I think, June of 2018. After that, Nintendo has patched the Switch and the software exploit that we're going to use is no longer available for the Switch. So make sure you got a first gen Switch. I will also drop a link in the video description, which includes a serial checker for the Switch. So you can just insert your serial number and see if you got yourself a patched or an unpatched Nintendo Switch. And for this tutorial, you will need an unpatched Nintendo Switch. What you also need is a micro SD card adapter. So it doesn't really matter which one you get, but we're gonna use a micro SD card. So I have this one right here, which we, for example, can use. If you don't have a micro SD card adapter, I do have a link in the video description for that as well. You also need a USB Type-C to type A cable to so connect your Switch to your PC over USB. And again, if you don't have that cable, I will have an affiliate link in the description down below as well. And what, what is also very handy to have around is a so-called RCM jig or a payload injector one or two. So here I have a payload injector and using this uh, device, we no longer need a computer to actually start an Nintendo Switch but this one is not necessary, but if you want to grab one, there's a link in your video description as well. I do recommend the RCM jig, however. So this is just a plastic tool with two metal pieces right here that we're going to use to actually boot our internet switch in what's called the recovery mode. If you don't have an RCM jig, there again is a link in your video description. So you will need that, but uh, you can also use a paper clip, but yeah, well, this is way easier and it's prone to less errors, basically. So, um, let's go ahead and start a tutorial. So first of all, you want to power up your Nintendo Switch. And once it's powered off, so there we go. You can set it aside whatever because we're going to go ahead and go over to our PC right now to prepare a micro SD card. So over on your PC, you need to plug in a micro SD card. So I have one plugged in right now. Uh, it's right here. It's not prepared yet, it's just a blank micro SD card of 64 gigs. So you will need at least 32 gigs, but I have 64. Uh, it's basically also the minimum that I recommend, either 64 or 128, because we're gonna dump our internal storage from a Nintendo Switch, so the internal NAND chip, to a micro SD card, which is already about 32 gigs. So to have some space left, uh, I recommend you to grab at least a 64 gig card. And again, I do have some links for recommended SD cards in the description down below. So you want to format it to either XFAT or FAT32. So I have it formatted to FAT32, as you can see right here, which is prone to less errors as well. So just make sure that you grab yourself a fresh micro SD card and format it to either XFAT or FAT32. Then you want to go and browse the links in the video description where I have all the necessary custom firmware files linked. So we will need Atmosphere. So Atmosphere is the custom firmware that we're going to run. Just scroll down and download both this zip file right here and the fusey.bin file. Then you want to use a Hackety. So Hackety is your bootloader interface to make a dump of our internal NAND storage. So we're going to boot our custom firmware from our micro SD card and leave our internal stock and NAND untouched. So again, just scroll down a bit and make sure to download this latest zip file right here, which includes Hackety. Then if you want to install uh, unsigned code, basically any NSP files, you also need some signature patches. So make sure to go to this GPA temp forum post, scroll down a bit and download the latest uh, signature patches from right here. And then to actually power a Nintendo Switch and uh, push a payload to it, 
I'm going to use Stagger RCM. So once the switch is in recovery mode, we can push a payload to it and we can boot to either Hackett or Atmosphere. So I like to use this portable version, but you can also grab the installer. Then once you've downloaded all those files, you can place them on your desktop. So I already downloaded uh, Tegra RCM, so it's not included right here. But you will have Atmosphere, you will have Fusey, you will have Hackettsy. Uh, this is Hackettsy basically, and this are the signature patches. Then you want to unzip these files and put them in a folder. Or you can just drag and drop these files to your SD card directly. So I can also show you that way. So let's go to SD card. Then first of all, open up the atmosphere zip file and drag and drop these files to your micro SD card. Then open up Hackettsy, so not the signature patches, but the Hackettsy bootloader zip file. Drag and drop these files to your micro SD card and also drag and drop the Hackettsy bin file to your desktop because this is the payload that we're going to boot to in a second. Then you want to open up the signature patches and drag and drop these two folders to your micro SD card as well. Just give it a second right here. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we want to go back to a micro SD card, go to bootloader, go to payloads, and then place fusey.bin inside the payloads folder. So this way, once we're booted into Hackettsy, we can push the fusey, so the atmosphere payload from inside Hackettsy to boot to the atmosphere custom firmware. And now our SD card is prepared, so you can just unplug your micro SD card and plug it into your Nintendo Switch. Uh, after that, we can boot our Nintendo Switch into the recovery mode. So right now it's very handy to have an RCM jig. So I have one right here. So you want to slide off the right Joy-Con rail, insert the RCM jig with the, fin uh, with the pins facing down. And then you want to press and hold the volume up button as well as the power button and the screen should stay black and indicating that we're now in the recovery mode so you can remove the rcm jig right now and you want to grab yourself a usb cable to connect to your pc so we can actually connect a switch to the pc and boot to hackety so i'll just grab a cable right here and plug it into our nintendo switch and over on your PC, you want to make sure to open up Tegra RCM. So I got it in this folder right here. And as I said, I got the portable version. So just open it up. Then you want to open up Tegra RCM GUI. And now, if this is the first time that you're trying to push a payload to an Nintendo Switch, you may get a pop up right here saying that you need to install the drivers. So just click on install and it will install the Nintendo Switch drivers. And otherwise, you can just go to settings and install the driver from here. But mine are already installed and my switch is also detected in the recovery mode. So now we want to go ahead, go to our desktop, locate the Hackety bin file, open it up. And we can simply click on inject payload. And this will put a Nintendo switch into the Hackety bootloader. If your screen stays black, you may need to retry it. So just boot your switch to the reco recovery mode again, plug in the USB cable and push the Hackety payload. And if it still doesn't work, then you may have a patched Nintendo switch. And then sadly, this tutorial doesn't work for you since the switch can't accept any payloads uh, using this method. But once you're in Hackety, you can just simply ignore these messages. And first things first, we're gonna create an MU MMC partition. So this means that we're going to copy over our internal NAND storage to our micro SD card. So we can install custom firmware solely on the micro SD card and leave our internal NAND storage untouched. So go to MU MMC, go to create MU MMC, go to SD partition. And now it says fail to find applicable partition. And that's uh, no problem because we're still going to need to format our micro SD card and to actually partition it. So click on continue, click on OK. And right here, go to the second line, so MU MMC raw. And just drag it to the right side, click next tab, click start. And this will partition our micro SD card. So we have a partition left to actually install our little stuff on, on the external port. And then it's also going to create, let's just press power right here. It's going to create a partition to install 
the internal NAND storage files. So just give it a second to back up all these files, restore them and partition on micro SD card, then click OK, close out of this menu, go to create MU MMC, SD partition, select part one, and now we will copy over all the files from our internal NAND storage to our micro SD card. So it's around 30 gigs. So this process may take a while depending on the speed of your micro SD card. So once this process is done, I will come back to you. So for my SD card, it only took three minutes, but I also have some micro SD cards that are really, really slow. And then this process may take up to an hour, but here we are. So now we can close out of this menu. Actually, we can also slide on the Joy-Con again. Like so. Then you also see that EMU MMC is now enabled. So that's good. Then we can close out of this menu and we're actually good to go to boot to atmosphere. So go to payloads and boot to the fusey.bin file. And if you don't have fusey.bin right here, make sure that you copy it over the fusey.bin file that we downloaded from the atmosphere getup page and paste it inside the bootloader and then payloads folder of your micro SD card. And then it should show up right here. Simply click on it and this will boot an internet switch to the Atmosphere custom firmware on our MU-MMC partition, so on our micro SD card. And the first boot may take a while, so just give it a few seconds here to boot. And there's an internet switch logo already and it should already be finalizing the boot process. There we go. So now we can unlock the switch and I like to go to flight mode. You can also disable Wi-Fi, it doesn't really matter but if you're modding inside games or whatever, then it's always best to be in flight mode or to have 90 DNS enabled or just prevent, <laughs> I don't know in what way, but just prevent uh, communication to the Nintendo Switch servers. So I just like to use flight mode right here. Then go to system settings and go to the system. And here you can see it may be hard to read, but our current system version is 16.0 with atmosphere version 1.5.0. And the E right here means that we're using an MU MMC partition so that uh, Atmosphere is now booted from a micro SD card. And if we go to data management right here, you can actually see that we have some system memory available and a micro SD card, but both of these are basically uh, storage on a micro SD card. And now if I go to the album right here, you can also see that we do have access to the homebrew menu. So that's basically it. Now, if you want to uh, boot to the official firmware once again, just power off Nintendo Switch and power it on like you normally would. And then if you want to boot back to the custom firmware, you can power off your Nintendo Switch. You can once again grab the RCM jig, slide in your right Joy-Con reel, then press and hold the volume up button as well as the power button for a few seconds. Then your Switch will be in the recovery mode. Simply connect your switch to your PC using a USB cable and then you can push the fusey.bin file or the active.bin file. But if you use the fusey.bin file, it will directly boot your Nintendo Switch to the Atmosphere custom firmware. And instead of using Tecla or SIM your PC, as I said, you can also grab a payload injector from the links in the video description. And this payload injector basically helps either fusey or uh, Hackety. You can just write a new payload to it using a USB cable. And then you simply plug this in into the switch once your switch is booted to the recovery mode. And then it will boot either Hackety or Fusey. So if your Nintendo Switch crashes and you did not have access to your PC or whatever, you simply uh, use a pad injector to boot your switch again to the Atmosphere custom firmware. And that's basically the guide for today. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos, guys. Peace out.